Libras, welcome to Viva Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Libs. Okay, we have the Shadow and Gnosis, the One, the Lover, the Creator, and the Stone. Well, this feels a little romantic, Libs. <laughs> Um, but I kind of get the feeling of just like having an understanding. I just feel like there are epiphanies going off left and right. Like everybody's just like, I don't know, just like their eyes are open. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like the light started to shine and like everybody's just like wiping the fog out of their eyes. You know what I mean? Like this is the energy that I'm feeling of just this, like seeing your way out of the shadows um, you know, like going around in circles so many times that you like, you started to uncover like how it is exactly that you can get out. Um, but it does kind of have a maze feeling to it. But I think that like, I almost feel like saying like through this uncovering of, of these shadows, you really, I feel like uncovered a part of yourself. You know, I feel like you, I almost feel the sense of being like, reintroduced to yourself in a way. Um, you know, I, I don't know if it's that you're meeting somebody and they just really like spark this creative energy in you that hasn't been present in a while. You know, it just, it, <laughs> because I don't know, because it does, it just feels like stepping into, <laughs> and I, and I work at a spa. So like people, when they come out, they're always like, Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> you know? And they have to like readjust. And I feel like that's what you're doing. That is that energy of just like, it's so bright, you know, like, but, but I feel like I can see all of the colors now and I can, you know, like, and I can, I can visualize, you know, like how they'll play together. And, and you know what? I just feel like this, like I'm awake now, you know, but like first there's this little bit of like this cycle of like going through the fog. Um, and I'm, and you know, leaves y'all love, love, but <laughs> I feel like whatever you're creating, you're creating it, either you're creating a relationship with someone that just, I don't know, awakens you creatively in life, or you're just like engaging in a creative project that awakens you in love. I don't know, but it just feels like whatever it is, you're, you're feeling awake now and you feel that like that, those creative juices flowing. And, and I just feel like swept up in this romantic idea, uh, you know, whether it's love or, you know, like a project or like, you know, like you're just, you're decorating your house or, you know what I mean? Like whatever it is, it just feels like you're like, oh, I can see all of the things that I can do. You know what I mean? Like all of the visions. <laughs> okay. Leaves. I'm loving it. Let's see what else we can get for y'all. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands, Four of Wands, Six of Cups, King of Swords, Knight of Swords. Okay, well, I just feel like, again, this fog of like being, I just feel like this, like, am I better off on my own? I feel like this for a lot of y'all is a relationship, you know, like, is this really like, do I really want to be in a relationship? Do I even really believe in love? I feel like there's a little bit of angst and like animosity with this simply because of the shadow, you know, like of just this kind of like, I'm better off on my own and this is why I'm better off on my own and I'm going to keep my wall up because of this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, sorry. We're coming back around. <laughs> But I think that the the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, I mean, there's definitely a message coming through um, and it raises a decision of, to like be in a relationship or maybe a decision to like take on a, like take a new direction in life. I don't know. It just feels like a, like a whole new perspective on life. And I feel like it it's charged with this energy of like a decision which, okay, leaves making a decision. <laughs> I think it brings with it a new truth that allows, I, I feel almost like this, you're allowing for, their, for the creativity to flow. You're allowing for the relationships to occur. You're allowing for these things to, to take hold. Like that wall is breaking down. 
for whatever reason, whatever it is that like the light shines in and you can see all the colors now, I feel like now that you can see all the colors, you can have hope and, and vision and something tangible. And I feel like you didn't really believe that any of it was possible before, you know? And so it's just kind of like when you don't really believe anything's possible, then you treat it like that, you know, like you come at it with that attitude and that wall. And I just kind of think that like that wall came down and took in Jericho, you know? <laughs> um, but okay. Leaves. I love it. There's, this is definitely high energy. Like I'm just like bouncing in my seat right now. <laughs> I've been bouncing all day, honestly. Okay. Justice, the Emperor. I don't know what that one is. <sighs> Leaps. The Two of Cups. Well, you know, I don't know if it's somebody who you were in a relationship with in the past. I mean, we're just going to stick with a relationship. If it's not a relationship for you and this doesn't resonate, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please leave this for whoever it does resonate with. Um, and it can resonate differently. It could be a job. It could be, you know, family. It could be whatever. Um, but whatever it is, it feels like there was a lot of injustice that was associated with this relationship. Um, you know, like those walls that were up that, you know, that were just like, I don't know. They, they didn't even feel like guard walls. They felt like, like if you even came within a walking distance of the wall, you would get shot with like a fire <laughs> arrow. You know what I mean? But, yeah, but there's also this idea of just like not really believing that it would ever, that you would ever really truly have to part from this person. Um, and I think being the very reason that you were truly parted from this person because of your own walls and I think realizing that you were the one who was doing the very thing that you said would never be done. Um, and that's a realization for sure. <laughs> you can't be on either side of the story. It could be that you're dealing with somebody in this energy, you know, like obviously take what resonates, how it resonates with the rest. King of Swords again, definitely with the decisions. There's no, I don't feel any hesitation with this. You've got the King of Swords twice. You've got the Ace of Swords. You've got the Knight of Swords, the Emperor. I mean, this is a lot of very decisive energy. <laughs> There's like no hesitation here. That wall needs to come down. That separation needs to not be a thing. And like the creativity needs to be given space. I love it. <laughs> Leaps. One last card for y'all. We'll call it a read. The nectar and the animal. Well, I, it does have a very carnal feel to it. Um, you know, like you were just, I don't, I just feel like this, like honed in attention, you know, like nothing has my attention, but this, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to create. Like, this is what I want to, this is the direction I want to go. I'm telling you, zero hesitation here. <laughs> Leaves. I'm so proud of you. Okay. I hope this resonates with y'all. If it does, please give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.